Hey there, welcome back. Today I'm gonna be doing a tissue paper flower. It's a fluffy and large type of um, flower. Let me show you. So this is how the flower looks like. It's round and fluffy. There's a flower called Allium. It's actually purple, but I'm gonna be using white. And I love the way how fluffy it is. So I'm gonna be doing this. So let's get going. Oh, and one more tip, if you want to do this in another color, then you can use this crepe paper. It's also thin like tissues, they're available in all colors too, but look for non-faded ones, because some of them get faded when they're kept in the open. So let's get started. So I'll let you know the things we need. You need a green paper that measures 7 into 30 centimeters. You so, and you need another green paper measuring 3 into 12 centimeters. And this is a craft wire. It's able to bend and go back to its shape like this. And that's totally affordable. It's called craft wire again. I love the way it smoothly bends and goes back. It's so good. And a pencil and an eraser just in case you need it, including the scale in there. It's a ruler, not a scale. And some scissors and four pieces of tissue paper measuring 10 point, I mean 10 into 29.5 centimeters. So let's do it. Four pieces of the tissue papers of the same size. And now I fold it in a way like up and down, like slanting, not slanting. You will see, and those Chinese or Japanese fans are designed in a way like um, up and down, right? So you know they're folded up and down in a different way. So I fold it fully, so it should look like this. Now I tie it using a craft wire, like this. You just fold it in a half like that over the tissue paper, the folded tissue papers. And now I twist the wire like this to form like a stem, a silver stem. <laughs> and be careful while twisting it because the ends are sharp. So it's half looking like a half flower. Now we stretch the ends towards the other ends like this. Now there is a top layer of the tissue in there. We'll try to find it. And now you pull it like this to form like a rose. So you do this to all the layers to make a complete flower. I'm reaching the end and that's the third layer. I have one more layer to finish. And do this slowly so that it doesn't unexpectedly tear and which you, that which you don't want. Here we go, the final result is close. So don't press it too much like that. And now it's ready. I've made three more of them, which makes four flowers. So we'll tie the flowers together to make it fluffy and round. And it might look uh, not look uh, even or round, but we'll look at that later. Now we twist the two flowers wires together. Once again, be careful. This is sharp. Do it slowly and gently. It doesn't act gentle on you, but if you do it slowly and gently, you'll get a better result. So I've tied these together the wires together and it's now stiff and still so now I'm gonna cut off the uneven parts so let's get cutting so. now I'm cutting the tissues which are uneven 
so this is getting round the more I cut the more the, the best the shape becomes and don't cut it too much or your flower will become too small and keep doing this in the middle or your flowers will spread all over but don't press too much So I've cut this beautiful flower into a round shape. So next we'll tie the stem. So now we tie the stem and the leaf, but first we do the leaf. We'll fold it into a half and I'll make it even. And I'll use, I mean, I mean I'll make it more even. We'll make it perfect make it as perfect as possible so now we have this half and I use a pencil to trace the half of a leaf I'll show you so draw it gently and neatly and perfectly and have that extending stem here and it should look like this Now I cut it out, make it perfect, so now I add some more detail by cutting small parts that resemble veins. We'll add just three or four of them. And we cut the other side and now we go to the stem. So we actually roll the stem like this, starting from the corner. You roll, in, you roll this in a crooked way, then you join it with the other corner. I'll show you. So now that I've reached the end, I apply some glue over the, then I stick the roll over the flat part like I've done that. So we've got it. So now I cut these edges peep, which are peeping out and don't make it shoot too short. Now I fold the leaves ending part to the back side like this. And I stick it like this in here. I stick it and stick it low if your flower is too big. Now I applied some glue on the edges of the stem and I insert the wire into the stem and stick the glue part under the flower and your flower is ready you can wait for the glue to dry i love the fluffiness of the flower so guys uh it's ready and it's been like a month since i did these two flowers and so that's why they're looking a bit old so look how pretty this looks mm. So I, you can decorate your house by keeping these on a base and keeping it on a shelf or somewhere. And I've also kept it on a base at my house. I'll show you now.
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then let me know by giving a like in 3, 2, 1, go! I hope you did give me a like. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel clicking the bell button. Thank you and thanks a lot and bye!